And we're live on the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. And we're about a half hour later than we should be, but we're on and we're ready to go here, I believe. I believe. Uh, as soon as I mute my phone. <laughs> uh, you can't play everything on live. Live YouTube. That was probably me saying, hey, I'm live. Yeah, it was actually. So if you click and you follow, you'll get notifications like I did that I got. Um, we're live. So hopefully you, you click us, subscribe, like us, so you get notification when we do go live. We should be on LinkedIn and YouTube and Facebook right now. And this is our Tuesday night job episode where we talk about local jobs and U.S. jobs and European Union jobs related to ads. We'll just give you an idea what's out there in the market. So give you some ideas. I'm not going to go over. We, we wouldn't normally go over like a couple key stocks that are, that sell a lot of agile projects, uh, products like Altesian and Microsoft and Amazon. But we're not going to do that today. We will do Twitter. Keep it shorter a little bit today. Um, just a reminder that, uh, we have our combine session with uh, Jennifer Steelman coming up on February 15th. So that's that's not too far from now. It's on combine, and you're going to see the combine stats a little bit too. Also, we do have our – what do we have, Bubbles? We have our Slack channel. If anybody would like to join, I have a link on our 5 a.m. Master Scrum website. It tells you what you got to do, what it's about, what kind of things we offer. Uh, I do ask that we do a conversation before you join just because I want to make sure we got active people joining the Slack channel versus people who may not chat or get involved for six months, you know, that way that they don't add value to themselves and I don't want to charge them for something they don't use. So it's only 10 bucks a month or a hundred bucks a year. So it's kind of like going to one of those local gyms. Like I go to a certain, um, key fitness or i should say that's bad a fitness place that charges like 10 bucks a month so it's the same idea get to work out ask questions uh communicate with other agile folks and things like that hopefully add help you on like on your travels and other people right part of the key thing to be about in this business and agile is sharing with others helping others out along the way because we are uh what do you want to call it we like to learn. We like to share. So it's kind of like that. But anyway, all right, let's do the show before I totally lose my mind. And let's jump over to the display and let's we'll change our video to a little version of me. So you should be able to see everything. Um, I'm going to move it over just a tad. Just a tad. There we go. That should be good. All right. Well, now we can see everybody. We can see all the things. And this is as of today. So as you know, what I do is I go on LinkedIn um, once a week. I look back at the past month, see how many job postings were put up there related to agile type job postings. Oh, and don't forget this morning I did an episode on the all gender postings that are coming out of the EU. And as we found out, that just because certain languages like Latin or German have ma masculine and feminine wording to them, and they didn't want anybody to think that only men can apply or only women can apply because people might overinterpret the title. So in that way, they, they say all genders and don't do that. We don't have that so much in the United States, but it is definitely a European Union thing. Okay, so, so don't overthink it. It's just the way the wording is. Uh, Agile business analysts in the United States went down 77,000 positions. See, I think a lot of the data, I don't know what LinkedIn's doing, but it went down 77,000. Business analysts went down 76,000. So it's now at 236,000. And you know what? I want to put the banner up here. Let's get the banner going on here. We might as well do the banner while I'm doing the U.S. Banner jobs. There we go. So there's U.S. jobs. So we're in the U.S. past month. What has been posted? Scrum Master. That went down 58,000. So there's 148,000. Still a lot, even though I don't think they know what they're doing at LinkedIn right now for 
the United States job posting and it keeps going up and down and all around in circles. So we're just going with it. But there are a lot of jobs out there. Scrum Master Remote, uh, 35,700. Oh, by the way, I found another related Scrum Master job. Now there, some companies might call them facilitators. So that might be another terminology for that, for the Scrum Master. So keep an eye out for those facilitator type positions. Um, product owner Agile, it's 51,000 right for past month in the United States, down 8,000. The Agile product owner, that's at 100,000. That's down 26,000. The Agile project manager is down 125,000. Now it's like 383,000. The Agile project manager remote. So I'm always still looking at remote jobs, what's out there. Down 15,000 to 67,000. Project manager in the United States for the past month postings. And we're now we're fully into the month of um, January, a full month into the new year. It's down 128,000 at 384. Enterprise coach, that went down 24,000. Now it's at 88,000. I still think that's awfully high because Agile coach is only 43,000 positions and that's down nine. It probably should be flipped if there really was true. Um, maybe the algorithm for LinkedIn is thinking Agile coaches and enterprise coaches can intertwine. Uh, Agile remote, that went up 1,400 positions across the United States. There's 40,000 positions there. And then Agile, as we say, it's always good to, to know some Agile stuff, even no matter what uh, type of position you're in. That's up 5,700 to 314,000 postings over the past month. Okay. So, one of the things I should do. Uh, I'll do it later. Okay. All right. European Union. Let's look at European Union. Let's flip over to that one. No comments yet in the comment bar. Okay. So, European Union. <sighs> That's uh, pretty much unchanged. Still at 5,900 um, Agile business analyst positions past, past month. Um, business analyst positions up 10,000. So maybe they figure they need more business analysts. So there's up to 16,000 positions. Scrum Master still at 27,000 over there in the UA, U, EU. It's pretty much the same, up 297. Scrum Master Remote. 2148 down 48 positions. Product owner agile 9800 positions. That's pretty good. Pretty much unchanged. Agile product owner um, 6400 positions. This one up about 175. Agile product manager went up almost 2000 positions over the past month at 29,000. Agile project manager remote pretty much unchanged at 1300 positions project manager went up about 1800 positions to 58,000 EU enterprise coach it's it kind of doubled to what it was before so I don't know it's up to 1416 now for enterprise coach in the EU agile coach 10,000 positions pretty much unchanged agile remote 12,000 unchanged agile 203,000 positions over the past month, up about 6,400 positions. All right, let's go to Greater Philadelphia. Greater Philadelphia. So I'm showing that banner on the page now. Greater Philadelphia, Agile Business Analyst, uh, 5,100 down, 1,500 positions over the past month. Business Analyst, again, 5,100 down, another 1,500. Almost 1,600 positions over the past uh, month. Scrum Master, 5,530, up 538. Scrum Master Remote, 3,900, up 480. Product Owner Agile, 2,142, up 155. Agile Product Owner, 2,100, down 751. Agile Project Manager, 7,700 down. It went almost down 3,000. So Agile Project Manager has gone down in Philadelphia. The remote job is pretty much stable at 2,000. Project Manager is at 11,000, up almost 500. 
Enterprise coach, it's at 2,000 positions, down 500, almost 600 uh, positions. Agile coach, 1,166. It's just up 14, so it's pretty stable. Agile um, remote, 13,000, up 544. Agile, 32,000, and that's up 2,000. So remember, you got different variations. Just found out today, you know, you can call it a facilitator also as being a scrum master too. So that's another variation. So let's scroll down and let's look at the certs. Let's see if I can come over. Just tap it. No, it's too far. Too far. Okay. Certifications. This now certifications. I look at a couple of agile certs, try to use your initials, try to get as close as I can without not getting anything and be in the United States in the past month. So CSM, that's our Scrum Alliance certification. That's at 11,000 um, positions. List that down 500. PSM, which is from Scrum.org, 2,600. That's up uh, 23, pretty stable. Safe Agile, 8,700. It's pretty much stable again. Less Agile, they're doing a lot more less activity activities out there by the way um 1211 kanban 50,000 positions post this up 3,000 again remember, remember february 15th we're going to talk kanban we have jennifer steelman coming here she's going to talk about kanban hopefully give some information maybe help prep you for anybody who wants a job with kanban and that they have asked questions about it it'd probably be very helpful uh, CSPO, which is the, the product owner position from Ad Scrum Alliance, it's at 783. SPC Agile, which is a safe SPC, which I am one. 131, pretty much the same. Uh, PMI ACP, 851 positions out there, up 30. PMP, 333,000. Now, that's a big change. They're down 98,000 positions there. So that's that's a big change for the PMP one, right? And I just did the search and I didn't show the little banner. Bummer. There you go, certification. So I got that rolling. So here's a little map of the certifications. I don't include the um, PMP one because that would just dwarf everything. So Kanban is way up there. CSM is the second. Safe Agile is third. And then PSM. And then less agile so it gives you an order some of the agile certs in the order that they're posted in job postings okay we'll look at this little chart over here see what it looks like we got our u.s chart and eu we got the blue in as the united states and red or orange is the eu you can see what positions are out there still a lot of u.s jobs out there in the agile market a good chunk also in the European Union. Okay, let's do something different. Let's go look at the change graphs already. Let's jump over. Let's go up top. So here's tracking the graphs over time. As you can see, some positions have gone up. Like here's the Agile Remote that went up this week. What's this one here? Agile Project Manager dot dropped pretty good. This is for Philadelphia, the chart we're looking at now. Um, I guess I could put show Philadelphia jobs, right? Show some Philadelphia jobs on the scroll bar. You can see what went up and down. Pretty stable, though. Some corrections going on here. All right, let's go look at... Let's go look at the U.S. jobs. So this is the U.S. job chart. And I'll put the banner for the U.S. jobs up there. And feel free to ask any questions, comments as we're going through this. If you're going to scrum or agile questions, feel free to send them our way in the chat. I should see them all. Um, so this is USA. Looks like we finally got a little bit of a correction to what it probably should be more normal. Still a lot higher than it was like the year before. I mean, if they're talking about jobs coming down, I don't know what's coming down in the agile market here in the United States, which is good for us. I just don't know if I can believe the uh, LinkedIn data so much. Okay. So now we'll come down here. We'll look at the EU jobs. 
see how EU is doing. EU is going up in a few things. So what's this one that spiked up here? That is business analyst. So that dropped down last week, came back up. So it went on pretty good. Looks like a lot of ones. Project manager going up a little bit. So it's stopped as um, downfall, but it's going up a little bit. Everything else looks pretty stable. Or if not, edging up a little bit or edging a little bit down. So that's good. So Azure Project Manager went up a little bit. So those are the the data coming out of LinkedIn for the past month. Hope that helps anybody. I mean, the one good thing is that there are a lot of job postings out there. So if you're like me, who just ended their job, their contract job today, and you're going to go look out for more jobs, then I got, I got some offers coming in. Well, not offers, but interviews. There are a lot of people wanting to interview. Um, there's jobs out there, so that's good. Hasn't totally shut down, so that's good. The good thing to hear, to certain for certain companies. Oh, by the way, don't forget if you know anybody at Capital One here um, that are in the ads report got affected. I am offering one. They can connect with me and get access to my thirteen thousand, almost thirteen thousand connections. Maybe that'll help them find a job. And two, they get free access for a year to our Slack channel or Agile Slack channel. So I'm offering that free. So maybe we can give them some advice, questions. If they have interview questions, they can post them up on the Slack channel. We can try to help out with some of those answers and some of the feedback and uh, try to be more of a uh, multiple point of view on the responses. So that's what they can do. All right. So let's go on to Twitter. Twitter. Where's Twitter? Twitter, Twitter. Uh, maybe I gotta do this. I don't know. Twitter is it and is gone. Twitter. Maybe I have to open it. Now is it working now? There we go. There's Twitter. Twitter is here. All right, Twitter. Let's see what we're doing here today. Oh, let's look at some stuff. Let's go to our list in Twitter. Is this our list? Well, that's me. They change the formatting a lot. If I go to here, go home. Maybe if I make it bigger. If I make it bigger, does it help me? Oh, more. This apparently Twitter Twitter's list are now under more. Let's go there. So what we usually go to is we usually go to our agile list that I posted up a while. I keep using this one because this got posted up in uh, one of those Wikipedia things. So I want to make sure I'm still using that since it's up there for everyone to see. And we're gonna see what's going on new in the Twitterverse. Yay! <laughs> oh, Al's putting stuff out again. He's talking about his flow stuff. He, he's been putting out off guidance for doing Scrum. Okay. Al's got that. Uh, 25 years ago, design patterns became vogue. Okay. For a while, people used patterns as solution, not in the way to design and process. It's worse. People use solutions without even seeing patterns. Okay. Uncle Bob Martin. Author's points aren't bad, but this didn't go nearly deep enough into the topic. Uh, abstraction can make your code worse. Okay. Here you go, Alan's up here. If you're in London in May, I'll be doing two full day workshops. So again, I guess there's a a uh, speakers conference, S SDD 2023 in London. So I'm going to like it. I'm going to retweet it. So if you're in London, I know I got a lot of connections out there in the UK. Um, they're doing a software design conference, which is cool. Okay. Why don't we do that? I'm going to show. So I'm going to show the certification on scroll bar while we're at it. And then uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, some new stuff. Da, da. 
Da, 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 da. We got cats. Cats snuck into a zoo enclosure and made the best friends with the lynx. Oh, look at the little striper. We should like that because we got stripers. We got a bubbles. Bubbles, you want to see the kitty? Come here. Oh, oh, there's bubbles. She's asleep. Oh, she's like, Dad, you just woke me up. I was sound asleep enjoying my dreaming of chasing micees. That's cool. Uh, oh, Alice got this. We need to become aware of our cognitive bi bias. I totally agree. They are kind of heuristic, and we are often unaware of it, and can shut off even when we want when we want it to. So that I I would agree. It's good to know your cognitive biases as you do stuff. All right. We got a personal agility summit. That's actually in two days. Uh, Maria's doing it. So we'll, we'll share that if you're interested in doing that. And again, don't forget, you can put some comments in there if you're interested. in Any comments or anything? All right. Let's go down. Greg Robinson. I haven't heard from predetermined dependencies have significant impact on prioritization ability of the team product owner. The product owner is drastically limited and freely assigning priority to the backlog items orderly according to them. Well, yeah, if you predefine them, it kind of dictate that. So let's read Twitter chat. So he's got a little PDF he put up there. Okay, what do we got? Scrum Alliance, our Agile Alliance. Got an Agile story to share. Uh, they got for ad they're looking for case studies. So we'll, we'll like it and we'll retweet it. So if anybody has a paper, we did that with online summit. So there might be, if you have an agile story to share, uh, let's scroll down. Uh, okay. Let's see. Agile connects seven ways to make big data more agile. Okay, let's, let's like that. I'm not going to click on it, but I'll retweet it in case you're, anybody who follows us interesting. Uh, Angie Jones, who's my favorite tester. Okay. News feed that uses AI to understand your interests lets you discuss with your friends. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like they're doing in automotive... Autumn. Here's another thing for the SSD 2030 in London in May. I like it. I retweet it. That way people have that. I don't know what these are. Okay, I really, I don't see much going on. Sc scanning, scanning through it pretty quick. Here we go. Leading agile. Fear of change slows everything down. Actually, sometimes you need to slow things down. Esther Darby's doing a uh, conference, I guess. Problem Solving Leadership Workshop run by Esther Darby and Donald Gray like that share that one we try to share some things and i think we're going to cut it for today make it a short show and i don't see see a lot of people doing the books uh oh what's what's vasco doing scrum master toolbox product owners don't miss a chance to speak at this cool event summit your session proposal for product owner summit today so he's doing a product owner summit. Okay, let's retweet that. Okay, call open session for papers. I don't know when it when it expires. I have to tell him he's kind of put a date in these things. So I sent that out here. Product owner, you want to do a paper? Go for it. And we're going to go, what is that? Mesh trains in Australia prevent water body pollution should be a worldwide standard. Okay, not great. Except 
people to say the turtles that fall down the drains might die, though. That would be sad. Uh, oh, oh, look, look, look. 5 a.m. Mr. Scrum. All gender job show. Show number 951. That was today. That's our podcast. That's up there saying I can promote it. I have to try the promotion thing. So there we go. And another thing for the product owner activities. Here we go. We got language issues. Jeremy, I don't even consider my language. I've used the phrases on the left too, off, too often. Okay. And that goes with the whole language thing we talked about today. The genders. I can quote, comment. I'll put a thing. Quote, all gender wording on job posts. Especially in the U EU. Especially in the e this morning. Uh, so we talked all, uh, about the all gender wording on job postings. On job postings. Now, especially in the U this morning. There we go. Reply. So put that up there. Try to get some traffic to help Jeremy out there. Some more stuff commentary about words we shouldn't use. So that's pretty good. Anything else today, 13 hours ago, she's doing her certification. Okay, we got a ninja thing. <laughs> Recon. Okay, anyway, I want to wish you all the best. You have a great day, a great evening. See you tomorrow on our show. And um, what am I showing here? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Me. All right. See you guys. See you all later. Have fun. See, look, I just used the word guy. Some might think that I was only talking to the males or men, but I use it as a generic term across the board. I can say peoples, peeps. So I wish you all the best. Have a great day. Happy scrumming. Good luck in the job market. Um, job postings. If you want, send me a note on the Slack channel. If you want to join us again, anybody at Capital One who's looking for a position, you're more than welcome to join our Slack channel for the next year for free. Slack channel is only 10 bucks a month, which is a pretty good deal. And uh, let me know if you need any help. Connect with me. I'm happy to accept your connections and see if my connections can help you find a new job. All right, take care, everyone. Have a great day, a great evening, and we'll see you tomorrow.